So I've got a production database approaching 16 terabytes. Adding another data file to the primary solution, primary uh, uh, file group is one solution. Are there any disadvantages to creating a new file group on a different drive and then moving large tables and indexes into it? So there are a few. Um, the disadvantages can involve you're going to require more space temporarily as you do that move. It's going to be very storage intensive. You're essentially reading every uh, uh, table and then writing it somewhere else. This can blow out your availability groups, blow out replication, blow out database mirroring. Anytime you're doing large amounts of writes, you got to be worried about what's happening to the servers on the other end. Do they have the same amount of space? Um, or it's going to blow out your backups because to SQL Server, this is a logged activity where it's actually writing down what it's changing. Um, so that if what you might consider doing just to get past the emergency quickly is add another file to that existing file group and then long term uh, make decisions about how you would gradually incrementally uh, move stuff over to another file group and the goal of doing that moving to another file group is that as you move the objects into there your objects are evenly balanced across all the files you have in that new file group so when you do it with that new file group put at least four files into it on four different volumes volumes, so that way they can all grow gradually over time. Jessica says, I'm here for the salt, and the uh, I only have two servers left on Microsoft SQL Server. Postgres is pervasive on the new apps I'm supporting. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a, it's a wild time as a database administrator. I'm curious to what, see what Microsoft does with SQL Server 2025 and licensing. It would be wise for them to make SQL Server more approachable, especially given the competition it's got from other databases.